Thursday, April 9th, Maundy Thursday. Today I want to concentrate on Peter, probably one of our favourite Bible characters, or maybe I'm just speaking for me because Peter is just so human and I can relate. I'm going to read two poems based on different stories in Peter's life. The first was written after reading the story of Jesus walking on the water and Peter having that courage to get out of the boat, wanting to go to Jesus, even walking on the water as Jesus was. But then he sees the waves and he sees the wind and he begins to sink. But Jesus reaches out, pulls him up, he stands on the water again and I imagine him looking into Jesus' eyes in wonder and, and amazement. The second is taken from this day, all those years ago, the time after the Last Supper, when Peter, with all his impulses, says, Jesus, I will die for you. I'll never betray you. And Jesus says, Actually, Peter, you will. You'll deny me three times. These are poems about Peter. Let me look into your eyes, Lord Jesus, and let me feel your care. Let me look into your eyes, Lord Jesus, and let me see love there. Love that draws me back again whenever I should stray. Love that holds me tighter even when I pull away. Love that wraps me in its arms and catches all my tears. Love that feels the pain I feel and drives away my fears. Let me look into your eyes, Lord Jesus, and in them see your grace. Let me see your eyes, Lord Jesus, and the smile upon your face. The smile that says, I know it's tough, but I can see you through. The smile that says, don't run away, we've both got work to do. That smile cannot be earned or bought with words or deeds or wealth. That smile is given freely, for you love me for myself. Let me look into your eyes, Lord Jesus. I fear I can't last long. Let me see your eyes, Lord Jesus. Once more, let me grow strong. The storm is all around me, Lord. Wind is strong and waves are high. I fear I may not reach you, Lord. I fear my faith may die. I look away and start to sink. Then I hear you call my name. You hold my gaze and take my hand. I'm safe with you again. As I look into your eyes, Lord Jesus, my fears begin to ease. May I always see your face, Lord Jesus, for only there can I find peace. In the message translation of the Bible, this is taken from Luke chapter 22. Peter said, man, I don't know what you're talking about. At that very moment, the last word hardly off his lips, a rooster crowed. Just then the master turned and looked at Peter. Peter remembered what the master had said to him. Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. He went out and cried and cried and cried. The second poem about Peter. Our eyes met and my heart stopped and my stomach came into my mouth. My breath caught in my throat and all I could hear and all I could hear and all I could hear was your voice and the cockerel crowing loud and I wanted to die and to hide and to run and to cry. So I did. 
Our eyes met and my heart leapt and I wanted to reach out and touch, to breathe life back to your eyes. And all I would say, and all I would say, and all I would say would be listen. And hear the sound of my voice, you'll not die of shame, you will be my rock. In one day, in two days, in three days you will. Only believe that you will. For there on the beach, when our eyes meet once more, you'll know me and you'll call me Lord. For there on the beach, when our eyes meet once more, I'll know you and call you to come. And you will follow on and tell of your love and you will take your cross on the road. You'll follow me truly and you will give your life. Die for me as you once said you would. You'll die as a martyr and the strength of your faith is the rock on which I'll build my church. Or put another way. Eyes lock, stomach turns, heart stops, breath short, cock crows, run, hide, die, I wish to go fish. Eyes lock, heart beats, arms reach, don't run, don't hide, come, fish, eat, fish, go, fish. For men. Father, how often do I fear to seek your face, lest I find disappointment in your eyes. You knew Peter would deny you, yet you had already chosen him as your rock. Remind me that as much as I am undoubtedly, fallibly human, when you look at me, you see your child with all the potential your spirit can grow. You look at me with love and you always will. Help me to remember that. Amen. Many of you know that I frequently tell you to go and stand in front of your bathroom mirror for a whole host of reasons. Today I challenge you. Go take a look at the mirror. Peter in one person was a man of courage and a man of impulse and a man of fear. Take a look in that mirror. Imagine Jesus looking back at you. As we approach Easter, as we approach Good Friday, Imagine his eyes looking at you, through you, into your heart and your soul. Who does Jesus see? Who does Jesus find in front of him? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.